and welcome back to another video. Today I will be making a tack set based on Belgian shrimp fishing horses. For over 500 years, families on the North Sea coast from France to Germany and southern England made their living fishing for shrimp on horseback. Today though, there are only 17 people alive who continue this tradition. This village in Belgium is the last place where it still lives on. I definitely won't be attempting to pronounce it. The annual two-day shrimp festival held each June attracts around 10,000 visitors from across the globe. Most horseback fishers have other jobs to pay their bills, since nowadays most have been replaced by commercial beam trawling, which is more efficient but causes damage to the sea floor. It's a super cool tradition that I hope to see in person someday, but for now a model will have to suffice, so let's get into it. My tack model will be this Briar Theo. I think he is perfect for representing a Belgian draught and I love how chunky he is. As with previous videos, I worked on everything simultaneously to give things time to dry, but I've put the clips together for the sake of clarity. So to begin, I'll be making the wooden saddle. I'm sure they're used traditionally and not for comfort. I think I'll stick with my western saddles. For the wood, I'm using these craft stir sticks. They are the perfect width. I use wood glue to glue the two pieces together to make them thicker. To get the angle I want, I sand down the corner. I make sure to keep measuring on the horse and look at reference pictures to make sure the size is right. For the intersecting parts, I use a jewelry saw to cut out a notch. Once the front and back are dry, I can attach them with a single wooden stir. To stain the wood, I make a reddish brown with oil paint and thin it with a lot of turpenoid. Next, it's time to make the big basket so we can carry lots of tasty shrimp. Luckily, a shot glass is the perfect size, so I use cling wrap to protect it and make it easier to take off. I start at the top where I measured and made a line. I apply the wood glue with a random wire and place twine down. I make sure the bottom is wrapped tight and allow it time to dry. I put extra glue at the end since it will dry clear anyway. Once it's all dry, I remove the shot glass, which looks a lot easier here than it was. Next, I add the little handles with super glue. Now we can make our shrimp boy a bridle. I make my own buckles with a strong thin wire. I pinch it into a square S shape with my pliers. Getting the size and symmetry right kind of just takes practice. The bit is fairly simple, so I bend the wire for that as well. For the straps, I'll be using this black leather cord. I measure the headpiece on the model. I attach the bit and buckle to the cheek piece.
Next, the throat latch. For buckles on the end of the cord, I use a small scrap of a non-fraying fabric to glue it on. With the buckle all glued, I can add the throat latch. This bridal does have blinders, so I cut some black vinyl squares. I add some edges to simulate stitching and use a paint pen to highlight them. This is a working horse, so I rough everything up with sandpaper to look worn and used. Now I can glue those blinders on. I measure a chain for the chin strap and attach it with my pliers. I also age it with oil paint, including the metal pieces so it looks rusty. This is why I'm using oils and not just stain. Moving right along, we can focus on the collar. I use floral wire to measure the neck and make a template. I trace it onto a thick black leather with my paint pen and cut it out. I can't cut holes in the leather since it's so thick, so I cut through and glue it back. Luckily, the bottom of the collar in real life comes apart in the same place. To make it stable and poseable, I add a thick wire. I add the brown leather to the underside. Then I can build it up with a second piece.
I use my thin black vinyl for the backing. I add one piece of leather to the front to build it up. For the metal on the collar, the side pieces will be functional, so I reinforce them with wire. To adhere it, I stick down my Aves two-part epoxy. I add on the rest to sculpt the shape. For smoothing, I'm using 70% rubbing alcohol. Lastly, I poke the holes through. Now I can sculpt the more decorative parts. Once that hardened, I can paint them with my tester's silver enamel. I ripped off the smaller pieces to make the painting easier. I can just stick them back on with super glue. For the little dots on the top of the collar, I mixed my silver and gold for a brassy shade. Now for the saddle pad. The real fishermen use an assortment of fabrics piled up for support that are worn over time. So for mine, I found a bunch of scraps that fit the vibe. This plaid was actually wrapping a different model I ordered from someone, so shout out to them. I cut up this felt and pull at it for fraying. I have this ribbon left over from the doll hat I made, and it pulls apart perfectly to make a fringed edge. I set them on the horse's back to line them up and then sew them together so it's just one piece. I make the cinch using the same felt. I use these crimp hooks to make it easier to take it on and off.
the harnesses will have leather and elastic to give it a snug fit. To connect the collar to the harness, I measure a short chain that will hook to the leather and that will hook to the cinch. I promise this will make more sense when I put it on the horse. Once everything is hooked together, I can stain it like the other pieces. Time to assemble everything. I use a piece of glue dot to attach the bit and sides of the bridle. I put the baskets on and add a rope detail. The ends of the harness are held up with embroidery thread. I forgot to film the reins, but they are also made of embroidery thread. As a little extra touch for photos, I make him a net. I found this wide burlap ribbon and glued two pieces together. I sew on some glass beads to look like buoys. I also add a little bit of wire to make it more poseable. With that done, it's time to see the finished result.
And there we have it. This lad is ready to go catch lots of shrimp. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to boop that like button and subscribe for more projects.